How do you sell a spaceship to a town? Apple is still trying to get approval for its new spaceship-style campus in Cupertino, releasing an economic impact report to show just how much money the city could bring in if it gives Apple the go-ahead. The 82-page report details Apple's building and hiring plans and the economic benefits Cupertino could gain. Those benefits include more than $40 million in new taxes for the city, as well as $68 million in improvements to local roads and parks and 9,200 new construction jobs, not to mention the new employees Apple will bring to the area. The project has been underway for some time. The company first proposed its new campus in 2006, and the late Steve Jobs presented the spaceship-looking designs to the city council in 2011. You could say Apple needs a new home base. Since of the 16,000 employees the company has in the city, only 3,000 fit in the current main campus. CNET writes, with its success, Apple had sprawled out beyond its headquarters to several satellite buildings, and Jobs sought to bring all its employees together in one facility. The new campus would fit up to 12,000 employees in one 2.8 million square foot, four-story building. But getting a project that big to be approved by the city takes time and a good deal of persuasion. All Things D reports Apple has yet to get the green light. The document is yet another effort by Apple to sell its new campus to Cupertino. While Cupertino Mayor Gilbert Wong has said in the past that there is no chance we are saying no to Apple Campus 2, the fact is that the city has not yet officially said yes. Along with the economic impact report, Apple will have to give the city an environmental report as well. As a preview, it's already known the new building will have 650,000 square feet of solar panels and a majority of the campus will be a green space. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrews.